question 10. Now this is slightly tricky because it's not the usual way around. What normally happens is we're given the two endpoints, say P and Q, and we work out the midpoint by averaging the X coordinates and averaging the Y coordinates. On this occasion we sort of got to work the other way around. So I've got on my hypothetical point Q here when I'm calling the X coordinate X1 and the Y coordinate Y1. So when I average the X coordinates of P and Q, so I average 5 and my X1, I get 1. So I know that 5 added together by X1 added together and then when I halve it I get 1. So x1 plus 5 and then I halve it gives me 1. In other words my averaging of 5 and x1 gives me 1. Similarly looking at the y coordinate 7 plus whatever y1 is and then halved its average equals 2.5. So 7 plus y uh, y1, I'll call it y here, but same thing y1 7 plus y1 divided by 2, halving it, gives me 2.5. So I've really just got to sort out these two little equations here. So choose to multiply both sides by 2, and then take away 5 from both sides. I've got my x1 being minus 3, and with my y coordinate, y1 plus 7 divided by 2 is 2.5. Undoing my dividing by 2 by multiplying both sides by 2, I get y plus 7 equaling 5. Take away 7 from both sides, I get y being minus 2. So the coordinates of q is minus 3, minus 2.